Hi, I'm Scott Berry with Roland US. I'm here to show you the Jupiter 50. For a great deal on the Jupiter 50, be sure to check out the bundles here at Kraft Music. The Jupiter 50 is the baby brother to the Jupiter 80. They're both performance keyboards. 76 keys, we have registrations and single modes is basically what it's divided into is into two parts. In registration mode, we have one live set and a solo part and a lower part that can be combined to create the registration. In single play or manual mode, you can have up to a single sound to four sounds layered, which is also considered a live set. Okay guys, here's a quick overview of the Jupiter 50 and the layout on the top panel. We have basic controllers, our D-beam with pitch, volume, and assignable. Now, these can all do different things, i.e. pitch, volume, and the assignable can be pretty much anything. Next to that, we've got our, our control for our cutoff filters, our resonance, our arpeggiator, our octave up and down buttons, which is very convenient if we need to move octaves quickly and then our part balance now in the registration we're using all three parts the percussive lower the upper live set and the solo so we can turn these sections on or off and control their volumes individually next we have the screen and keep in mind with the screen and everything that you're going to be doing in a lot of rolling keyboards not just the Jupiter's the shift button is your best friend so by hitting the shift you can see we have other options to be able to get into further editing Next to that, we've got the value area with the jog wheel for entering, exiting areas, and then the song player. We can play MP3s and WAV files, AIF, through the thumb drive. We can also record directly as a single pass. Below that, we've got all the category buttons. So when we are in manual mode, so make sure bank mode is registrations. Manual mode is single play. So in single play mode, all of our buttons are category buttons. So by piano, clav, organs, if we want to see all piano sounds, we just simply touch the button a second time. Then we can scroll through and see everything that's sitting in there. If what we are looking for is not in the buttons, go to the other category, hit that, and you are basically, with using the uh, cursors on the side, we can scroll through every single category that's available. So that's our basic navigation. In registration mode, which is also our bank mode, navigation is simply as pushing buttons or calling up the bank number. Bank two, one. So that's one way to navigate with that. Going into manual mode, navigation for editing, especially in the supernatural tones, shift. And since the layout is basically a solo single sound, an upper live set, which is a layer of four, and then a percussive lower that can be one tone or a drum sound, what we're going to want to do is hit shift, upper is where we're going to want to edit that section. So by hitting upper, now we have the grand piano, modify, and now we have characteristics of being able to change those parameters. Again, it is the little brother to the Jupiter 80, so it has and shares the exact same live sets. It's probably about three quarters the power in comparison. Uh, there's over 2,500 live sets that are available on this.
As I said before, the Jupiter 50 is a little brother to the Jupiter 80. They share the identical supernatural acoustic engine and supernatural synth engine. So let's look at the behavior modeling in the supernatural acoustic engine. I have an acoustic bass up here. I can make the exact same adjustments by running in and going into modify as far as things like noise level. Here, a little bit more string variation there. The behavior modeling works identical. It's going to work with how you play and interact with the keyboard. If you play as if how you would be playing that instrument, for instance, if I'm going to push C and D, chances are the bass player is not going to play that. He's actually going to probably hammer into it. So if I play like that, but still by holding two notes down, watch what happens. I get one note. Both keys are down. If I let go on one, I get the hammer off. But yet I can still hit both keys. Pretty cool, huh? Here's another example of some supernatural acoustic behavior models. We have a marimba here. Chances are a lot of times when we want that marimba sound, we need a, which can be very difficult to keep up. Well, check this out. With the joystick, if just by pushing it forward, I can hold two notes or more and get it to rock and roll. Pretty awesome. Now, this is what gets really cool. When you go to pitch bend it, Chances are we're used to hearing a marimba sound as the synth, the synth sound. So when we go to pitch bend and it goes, it doesn't sound natural. This does. Pretty cool. Here's another example of a supernatural technology. Here I have a trumpet. I can do things like a trill, or basically, you're used to hearing it more or less like. But if I hold one note down and then trill on top of that, I get the half valve trill, which is true to a trumpet. It's, it's hard to recreate it on a keyboard until now. The other thing is pitch bending. By pitch bending, it's not, it's not a fake sound. It, is a, it goes through all the harmonics and all the valve steps. Not going to find that anywhere else. In the supernatural synth section, I've got some Jupiter 8 strings here, which are just great sound. But if I want to get deeper into it, I can go down to the oscillator or the partial level simply by selecting that patch, hitting shift, upper again, and then any one of these sounds are all synth or supernatural synth. So by modifying it, I can go down to this level and, and have knobs and sliders like what I'm used to. Simple edits by just scrolling over, turning, turning the uh, jog wheel.
also want to show everybody the iPad app that's available. Keep in mind, again, you do not have to have an iPad to work or program the Jupiter 50. It's just an added feature. And again, as we get older, our eyes get older. So wham, bam, check that out. So basically from here, we're looking at it old school, just as we would see it as, if, as a real analog machine, sliders and knobs, being able to control and change our waveforms. We can also go in and control and change our individual tones that make up that live set. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Back here, you can see all four parts that make up that one sound. Well, I can shut them down from here in the iPad and I can control them and go through and go further editing into the LFOs, changing the waveforms. And keep in mind, because again, this is the little brother of the Jupiter 80, all the low pass filters are identical. They are all modeled after vintage synths. There's two different ways you can connect the Jupiter 50 to the iPad. One is through the USB direct into a camera connection kit. The other is the optional wireless adapter. Once again, I'm Scott Berry with Roland US. Thanks a lot for checking out the Jupiter 50 with me. Please feel free to contact Craft Music if you have any questions. And again, thanks for watching.